Hello everyone, welcome to Infigyan. In this very very exciting video of algebraic challenging equations where we are going to solve one degree 11 polynomial. Equation is x power 11 minus 1 plus x cube times x power 5 minus 1 equal to 0. So let's get started. I will consider first expansion. Let me expand x power 11 minus 1 plus x power 8 minus x cube equal to 0. So I will arrange equation x power 11 plus x power 8 at one place and then I will write minus x cube minus 1 equal to 0. Okay. Now from first two term x power 8 we can take common out. So I will write x power 8 in bracket x cube plus 1 and minus 1 if I will take common from last two terms, then I can write x cube plus 1 equal to 0. Now you can see x cube plus 1, x cube plus 1. I will take out common. So x cube plus 1 in bracket will have x power 8 minus 1 equal to 0. Now this is our factorized form of the same degree 11 polynomial. Now we will target two equations. So x power 3 or x cube plus 1 equal to 0. This is our equation number 1. From where we will get three solutions. And second equation x power 8 minus 1 equal to 0. From here we will have eight solutions. So let's solve. So I will write first equation x power 3 plus 1 equal to 0. a cube plus b cube we can apply or we can take directly to the complex number. Let me apply algebra a cube plus b cube. So a plus b a square plus b square minus ab equal to 0. General formula. Now I can write either x plus 1 will be 0 or x square plus 1 minus x will be 0. So let's solve this one first. Let me solve here itself. I will write x plus 1 equal to 0. Then here we will be having solution x is equal to minus 1. Done. Second x square minus x plus 1 equal to 0. Let's apply quadratic formula minus b 1 plus minus square root b square 1 minus 4ac minus 4 over 2a so 2. 1 plus minus this will be negative 3. So I will take i outside over 2. So there are two complex solution, one real solution from the first equation. First equation x cube plus 1. Now we will find out solution from x power 8 minus 1 equal to 0. Let's solve. So x power 8 minus 1 equal to 0. I will write x power 4 whole square minus 1 whole square equal to 0. Now difference of two squares a plus b a minus b. Because of Diwali festival these are firecrackers they are celebrating Diwali. So a square minus b square equal to 0 I will write x power 4 plus 1 in one bracket x power 4 minus 1 in second bracket. So let's solve x power 4 minus 1 equal to 0. So I will write x power 4 plus 1 equal to 0. This is one quartic and second quartic will be x power 4 minus 1. Now I can write x square whole square minus 1 whole square equal to 0. So from here I will write a square plus b a square minus b square again. So I will write x square plus 1 in one bracket x square minus 1 in second bracket. So if I will put x square plus 1 equal to 0 then I will get some solution and x square is equal to 1 then I will get again few solutions two solutions basically. So let me write from here we will have x is equal to plus minus 1. Okay, now from this equation we can write x square 
either you can convert directly in the form of complex equation this is how i can write minus i square is equal to zero okay i square is negative one negative times negative so positive so from here i can write x plus i times x minus i equal to zero so from here we are having plus minus i so we have calculated so far how many solutions seven out of seven possible solutions minus one was repetitive means multiplicity two now only last equation is pending that is x power four plus one equal to zero let's find solution from here also so x power four plus one equal to zero how i can write x power four is equal to minus one using complex number euler's identity e power i theta is cos theta plus i sin theta so i will try to write minus one so if i will put theta is equal to pi then it will become cos pi plus i sin pi put the value of cos pi minus one sin pi is zero so in place of minus one we can write e raised to the power i pi using euler's identity now i will take up x so i will write e power i pi whole power 1 over 4 raise both sides fourth root now you can see it is only principal solution so we have to generalize because there are four solution so i will consider general solution so how i will write i will write i pi plus 2k pi and then i will apply whole power 1 by 4 or you can apply directly okay now let me write here cos pi in terms of cos also we can write or we can write directly in the power like this way 2k pi over 4 okay this is your general solution where k belongs to integer remember this so from this equation we will have four solutions let me write by putting k equal to 0 k equal to 1 k equal to 2 k equal to 3 let me put the value k equal to 0 let me write here x of 0 by putting k equal to 0 e power i pi by 4 this value will be 1 plus i over root 2 then second value if i am putting k equal to 1 so i will write x1 e raised to the power i if i will put 1 then 3 pi over 4 so from here we'll have minus 1 plus i over root 2 then i will put k equal to 2 i will be having e power i 5 pi over 4 then i will be having minus of 1 plus i over root 2 and last solution by putting k equal to 3 i can write 7 pi over 4 so that value will come out minus 1 minus or minus i you can write 1 minus i over root so here we are having four solution from the equation x power 4 plus 1 equal to 0 so there are total 11 solutions out of those 11 solutions x equal to minus 1 is the only solution which is having multiplicity 2 okay i hope you like this video thank you so much for watching do not forget to like share subscribe bye bye till next video